Okay, today we're going to be talking about distortion correction, specifically when you're stitching together a multi-shot panoramic. Our example today, we're gonna to be working on a shot of Horseshoe Bend in Arizona. And for this one, I took nine different images. So we have nine vertical images, and if we look, you can see that each of them was shot with a focal length of 16 millimeters. That's pretty wide. So as you can pretty well imagine, when we stitch these together, because of that wide angle, we're gonna have some pretty crazy distortion when we stitch them together and we wanna correct that. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, I've already exported each of these images as a TIFF, which we're going to stitch together in Photoshop. So we're gonna to go to Photoshop, File, Automate, and Photo Merge. I'm just gonna leave the layout as auto. Vignette removal and geometric distortion correction, we're gonna check those on, and blend images together, which is default. So we're gonna select our nine images, hit OK. No, photo merging is not that quick. Believe me, I cut out a decent chunk of footage right there. Okay, so this is what our end result looks like as soon as it finishes doing its thing. You can see we've got a lot of distortion going on. First thing we're going to do is flatten the image because we do not need all of these separated objects. We need them to be one nice cohesive layer. So we're gonna merge visible. Next thing we're going to do is I'm going to drag a guide down to the center of the image right where it meets the horizon line. And then we're going to hit free transform, so edit, free transform. And we're going to set by holding the alt key, we're going to set the anchor point right there on that horizon line where it meets our guide. And we're just going to rotate our image so we have equal amounts of curvature on both sides, kind of evening out that crazy curved horizon line. I'm not trying to get it perfect, just trying to get it close. I'm going to move it back to center and then that'll be the end of our free transform. So we've got our guides that helps us understand where our horizon line should be. Now in order for this tool to work its best we're going to flatten the image and then we're going to use adaptive wide angle. This filter is going to be what fixes this horizon line. It's a pretty powerfully impressive tool. So we're going to go to adaptive wide angle. The correction style, we're going to click panorama and we're going to use the constraint tool. So first things first, you're going to click on one end of your horizon at that horizon line. And as we drag over, you'll watch how it creates this curved line that moves, the curvature moves as we move our cursor. So we're gonna to go to the other end of our image, the other end of our horizon line, and we're gonna try and match the curvature in the horizon line that we're seeing. I'm gonna try and use our constraint tool and have the curvature of this constraint tool match the curvature of our horizon. So this feels pretty close. It's not gonna be exact, but that feels pretty close. And you can see right there, it's not perfect, but it got our horizon line in a much, much nicer place. And so from here, we can adjust it just a little bit to bring that horizon right where we need it. And I'm pretty solidly happy with that. So we're gonna click OK. And you can see if we bring another guide down to the horizon line itself, it's evened out pretty well. I mean, the variation that we're seeing is just the difference in height in the mountains. So at this point, really, it's just coming down to cropping. So I'm gonna go ahead and flatten the image again. I'm gonna draw some guides from where we run out of image pixels at the top. And I'm gonna bring this guy up from the bottom. We run out of image pixels on the bottom. And then I'm gonna hit C for my crop tool and bring the top and bottom to those guides. And then finalize that crop. And then I'm going to use my crop tool again. And we're going to crop into where we are completely filling our crop area with image pixels and none of our white space. And so there we go, there's our, there's our final image crop. We've got a nice even horizon line and we have got a nice large scale panoramic view of Horseshoe Bend. At this point it's really just cropping to taste. So I'm gonna go ahead and flatten the image and 
that's it. That is how to correct that crazy wide angle distortion that happens with stitched panoramics when you're shooting on a particularly wide angle lens. Remember, it's really just the one tool. You're going to flatten your image, and it's adaptive wide angle. Very, very powerful filter. Okay, well, I hope that helps. Happy shooting.